looking? You know, it's looking good. Okay. It's not looking so great, unfortunately, for our neighbors down to the southwest of us. Oh. We're looking into Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi. It's really going to be potentially a devastating tornado outbreak day for folks there. So they are anticipating it. That's the good news. And they are more used to seeking shelter from rounds of outbreaks with tornadoes. So we're hopeful that everyone will stay safe today. We do have a moderate risk there for folks out through Birmingham and south. And then as we go through the day tomorrow, our risk level has actually shifted down to the south. So it's out of our area. But as you go into Georgia and then parts of Alabama still may have some severe weather tomorrow. This is going to be a marginal risk. So it means a few storms could become severe. We might get some damaging wind in these areas, but it shouldn't be as widespread as it is today for folks right over the southeast. And we're looking right now at mostly sunny skies. Beautiful weather for you and we are comfortable. We're at 55 in Winston-Salem, also Greensboro, 58 in Ashboro. I think we're going to get into the 60s in a few spots here. We're already at 56 too for Burlington, so easily the low 60s. You're at 46 right now in the mountains and you'll be in the upper 40s to near 50 there today. Gus at this hour, not so bad, We're about 15 miles an hour, so just a little bit of a light breeze going in the mountains. We begin to see the shift though in the winds once that system approaches us and that'll happen overnight. Winds become a little bit more intense, certainly 5, 10 miles an hour. We have no complaints today. It's really a picture perfect November day that's almost December and just just another couple of days. You've got the dry air here pushing in from the south. Meantime, the moisture though builds overnight from the next system and that one is setting up right now over parts of Tennessee and northern Mississippi. We're seeing winds out of the south today at 5 to 10 miles an hour. High temperatures in the upper 50s, so it's a nice day and we start to hold steady in those 50s as the clouds move in and that wind pattern changing. More of that south southwest flow should keep us warmer and might warm us up toward morning. Rain chances improving toward 2 a.m. at about 40 percent across parts of the triad. You're looking in the Hills from 56 degrees at least to upper 50s and shower chances then building in overnight. You'll also become breezy by early tomorrow morning. Gusts could be as high as 30 miles an hour also across the triad and parts of the mountains. We're seeing dry conditions for now and then the showers start to fill in late tonight and breezy weather starts to take hold. We can see those gusts really getting going once the rain is starting to set up and let's show you that the hour by hour shows us cloudy skies for the evening. Shower chances do improve toward 10 and 11 o'clock and then by midnight things start to to fill in from west to east. We notice that the showers are going to lift through Lexington, Winston-Salem and starting to get going here from North Wilkesboro up through the northern Piedmont by 4 or 5 a.m. Most of the heavy showers could be out of our viewing area by about 7 a.m. while we have some lingering light showers through 9 and 10 a.m. So this is looking less likely of a severe weather event for us, more of a few tree branches coming down from the gusts that come in with these rain showers and some decent rain showers in the southern Piedmont. So we do need the rain and we're happy to have it. And the wider view shows us that we get those scattered showers in here also over the weekend. For the weekend, it's going to be on again, off again with shower possibilities and these waves of moisture. So timing that might be a little bit tougher for us. We've got your impact day on Wednesday. Windy for you, but looks like less severe. And we keep in rain chances of 30% for Saturday, Sunday into Monday as we flirt with those upper 50s to low 60s and near normal temperatures for this time of the year.